Hi everyone, this is Brad Chan here. Welcome to today's training called Creating Your Affiliate Funnel. This is going to be very exciting because I'm going to walk you through a process how you can build your business and also to generate income at the same time, right? And this is done by an affiliate funnel. And with that said, let me just go ahead and share with you the first thing first, right? So before we touch on the topic of affiliate funnel, right? How do we build an email list. Now, before we come to an affiliate offer or coming to the topic of email list in a past training, right? Or if this is the first time you're attending the training, is that we build business by building a mailing list. And that is like the ultimate secret of whether you want to sell your own product or you want to do affiliate marketing, whatever that you want to do, right? It's all about the list. It's really that straightforward. If you don't build your list and you feel that, Hey, I'm just going to drive traffic to a sales page and try to make some money by arbitraging that traffic. You can do that, but that is a very risky business model. Why is it uh, a risky business model? Because someday your traffic doesn't convert, which means that tomorrow you need to pay again for the traffic for that matter. And as they say, success leaves traces, right? You can see every single gurus or anyone in the digital business in the information business every single one of them have a mailing list those who are successful so i rest my case i can argue with you till the night time until the next morning you know and i'll still win the debate because you can never prove to me you can never find for me one super affiliate who doesn't have a mailing list it doesn't exist right tony robbins has a huge mailing list anybody who is successful has a huge mailing list so with that said I'm going to continue from here. I just want to make it clear so that you're going to say where I'm coming from. Okay. And of course, that is the so-called challenging part. But if you understand the basic formula of it, it's basically falls into just two steps. One is you must know how to create a landing page with a good offer, right? Of course, this is like telling you, how do we play golf? You got to swing the golf club uh, to hit the ball, to go inside the hole, right? Which everybody knows that. But I'm just going to clarify so that we sort of have the construct in today's training. So assuming that we are able to achieve this, that we can create a good landing page, which converts where it's attractive, have the right copy, proper design, proper domain name, and all this good stuff. And it has a good offer. Means that when someone lands on this webpage, they see that, hey, this is a good stuff. This is great stuff. I should register to get this good stuff. Assuming that has been taken care, right? Then of course, it leads to step two, right? It's all about driving traffic with paid ads. Uh, why paid ads? Because that is the one that we can control. If we do organic traffic, which I highly recommend, I'm not saying that do not do that, but if you want to get started, and you want to see results. The only way that you're going to see results is through paid ads. Because any organic traffic that you do, you have no control saying, hey, I want traffic now. I want to see the visitor come to my webpage now. You cannot control that. But organic traffic, which is also um, in a form that we call it free traffic, but I don't use the word free traffic because although it is free, but it is not free because you use your time to do it, right? Now, um, that is something that we must do while we are also building the business. Anyway, let's look at this very simple formula. Step one, create a landing page with a good offer. Step two, drive traffic with paid ads and kaboom, you know, you build your mailing list. And that's it, right? Straightforward, very simple model. If you follow this model, you cannot go wrong with it. Of course, you got to study step one and then you study step two. Now, the next question is how much an email lead will cost with Facebook ads. Let's say we choose uh, the paid traffic comes from Facebook. I'm choosing Facebook because it's probably the simplest model uh, to get started with. And it's something that everyone here knows what it is because I would say almost all of us has been to Facebook and we have seen ads. So we sort of understand what is a Facebook ad, right? So how much do you think an email lead will cost with Facebook ads? So one US dollar will probably get you a click and not a lead, right? That is probably the rate of advertising uh, today. So if you just go to Google, 
for the sake of fun, how much an email lead costs on average with Facebook ads? It will cost you between $19, which is about $20, to about $56 just to get an email address. That is the average price. And based on my experience, we're looking at about $10 to $20. $50 will be very far-fetched. As in like, maybe you're in a very um, expensive niche market. Maybe something to do with pharmaceutical or things related to law and stuff like that, right? But on average, you're looking at $10 to $20. There are times that I paid $40 just for an email address. All right, so that is the case. And if you go to any ad agency and say, hey, you know, I want to hire you to run ads for me. How much will it cost? Well, they will also tell you the same thing about $10 to $20 for an email. And it's important that you are educated about this so that you will not be suckered into all kinds of BS that people tell you that, hey, you know, I can help you to get lead for just a dollar, two dollars, right? It doesn't really exist unless they are maybe go to, you know, at a back street or something like that and then get, Hey, do you do you sell leads? You know, and they, they open up like you know some hard drive with all the leads. Maybe you know you get it for a dollar or ten cents a lead. But if you were to build your leads, we're looking about that, right? So now, if we understand this and we understand that it's a must to build an email list if you want to follow this model. If you don't want, you want to do something else. That's totally all right. I'm just going to teach you what works for me and my friends. So how much will it cost to build one thousand email leads? Um, which means that we take the number 1,000 times $10, that's going to cost about 10,000 US dollar to build a digital business, right? It's about 10,000 US dollar. And this is being conservative. You're looking at sometimes it costs about 20,000 US dollar just to build a thousand email lists in a proper way by using Facebook, right? Now, obviously with this kind of price, um, we can also calculate in terms of business approach, how fast could we earn back our ROI? Right? So if an email can generate about $1 per month, that is the, the so-called industrial standard, we can earn back the ROI in about 10 months. So imagine if you build a business, all right, so I start a business today and in 10 months time, I will be able to see some positive ROI. This is provided that step one, you, you got it all fine, you know, you are able to, whether you can get your lead at $10 or $20 or end up $100 for one email, it depends on how good you are at step one. So do you see why we do so much training on step one? Because if you don't have step one right, and you go to step two, it's going to burn a huge, huge, huge hole in your pocket. And I would not suggest you to do that at all, right? So like, for me to acquire, say, 100,000 email leads, if you were to work out the maths, if I was to go out there and run Facebook ads, that would cost me about $10 times 100,000. That would cost me about 1 million US dollar just to acquire that lease, right? But that lease has made me more millions in return, right? So it's about you understanding the concept of entrepreneurship rather than trying to do some beast of stuff. Anyway, anyway, I didn't spend a million dollars to build 100,000 mailing lists, right? This is just to show you, assuming that every single list comes from Facebook ads, right? But initially, when we first get started, we go to paid ads. But some of the lists will come from uh, content marketing, referral marketing, uh, social media, and so on. Anyway, anyway, that's not the point. The point here is that I'm going to share with you how not to spend $10,000, right? So what if you can decrease your cost by 50%? Let's be realistic, right? Let's not talk about, hey, you know, you can decrease your cost to 0%, right? But let's say you can just reduce your cost by 50%. Let's say you're operating a business and suddenly someone comes to you, a consultant comes to you and say, hey, uh, Mr. Bob, right? Or whatever your name is, uh, uh, guess what? I can help you now to reduce your cost by 50%. Would you get excited or not? Of course, you raise your hand. You know, show me, you know, I want to reduce my cost by 50% this year, right? Because if you can do that, it simply means you can start earning in just five months instead of 10 months. This is crazy. 
So again, I'm teaching you how to think like an entrepreneur, right? So if you can shorten the months or the timeline of how fast you can earn back your ROI, that makes a huge, huge distinction, not just in terms of making money, but for your entire business cash flow. But at the same time, this also means if you have the other option, you could just double your lease to 2000 instead. Now, which means that if you are able to reduce your cost by 50%, you can double your output, right? Which means that from 10 months onward, you'll be able to earn more compared to the $1,000. Now, anyway, the $1,000 is just a benchmark. You could earn more, you could earn less, you could just earn $100, you could earn $1,500. It's just a benchmark. Why I say it's only a benchmark? Because you are doing a business as in like, the only time you make money is that when someone wants to buy a product. There is no such thing as, okay, this email, if I have an email, I'll make a dollar. It doesn't mean that. This email could actually make you $50 instead of a dollar a month. You get what I mean? It depends on how you do marketing with your database for that matter. But $1,000 is just a benchmark so that we can learn from here. So how do we actually decrease our ads by 50% or even more, right? The answer, the solution is, is an affiliate funnel. You see, if today you go out there and you just build a mailing list, then you're going to have the $10,000 expense. So this is the so-called the X factor. This is the so-called magic formula, how the experts are running the business compared to the beginners who doesn't know how to do this. So usually people have like a half story as in like, they hear, oh, okay, let's go and build a mailing list. That's going to be very good, right? But they don't understand the other half of it, which is the cash flow uh, expenses and so on. Whereas all the gurus, all the top affiliate marketers understand this. They're not spending $10,000 to build the list because they master this. Do you understand where I'm coming from? This itself is a paradigm shift in how you can be successful or not, right? And if you, like for instance, for me, I would tell you that I build my mailing list for free, right? Because I know how to monetize that later on. So there's this formula among all the gurus, right? Or the top marketers. What we do is that we know how fast or how slow we can earn back whatever we spend on ads. So a very good marketer will be able to earn back all in less than 30 days. So if let's say I'm not a good marketer, it takes me like six months to earn back everything, right? The longer it takes you to earn back, it means that your cash flow will be stuck, which means that you must have more cash flow in order for you to operate the business. So let's say, whatever ad spend, and it will take you only six months to earn back, right? It means that you got to have an allocation of budget for six months to operate the business. But if you can earn back within 30 days, it means that you don't even need to use your money because by the time your credit card bill comes in, you have already earned money to pay for the credit card bill. So it just continues that way. Now, let's give a basic summary of this. An athlete funnel with paid ads is to help you to reduce your cost of lead acquisition with the goal of achieving zero cost. That is what we strive for. And this is achieved by promoting affiliate offers. So when we build our lease, we get to tie it with an affiliate funnel. So this affiliate funnel here, it's not trying to make money at all. Again, that is a false hope that all these newbies have and that's why they're frustrated and they struggle and everything else because they're going through round circles and so on, believing all this bullshit from all these fake gurus, right? That they can make money by doing that. But if you're an entrepreneur, right? You just think that, okay, if my goal, this, this affiliate funnel here, it is just to break even, which is what I'm striving to achieve, which means that I could be building my lease for free every day. And that's where the money is. If you just understand this strategy alone, 
And if you follow this plan, not only you'll be building your, the list at a rapid pace, but you will be making so much money in a very quick period of time, right? Because if you don't make money here with the affiliate funnel and you build your list, this list will help you to make even more money at a later stage. So the secret is to leverage on other marketers' proven funnels. So this is achievable even for newbies. And that's the beauty of it. Because you are just leveraging on someone else's funnel instead of you trying to fix everything or create everything, right? So the affiliate funnel strategy simply work in, in this way, right? There's two types of funnel that we work on. One is called instant monetization. The instant monetization is where we pick low cost affiliate offer with a good funnel. So we are now leveraging on someone else's funnel. Second, delayed monetization. This is a high ticket affiliate offer and we only need one or two sales to cover the future ad cost. So the delay monetization is where we make several hundreds of dollars per sale. And when we achieve that, we have the fund for the future ads. So warning, all right? If you want to do this right, you got to know what you're trying to achieve here is that you want to make money first. Now, let me explain what do I mean by make money first. Why you should not create your own funnel to sell when you first get started? Very simple. First, it takes a lot of time to create a good product. A lot of time. Now, you can create a mediocre product like in just hours, but if you don't create a like really good product, it's going to be very time consuming, like really good product that people are willing to pay for, all right? Next, you need advanced expertise to create a converting sales pitch. No kidding. Do you know that there are certain sales pitch that you see, like all this nice sales pitch where you see, wow, it's so nice and so on. Do you know that those sales copy, people pay about 10,000 US dollar or sometimes if they got lucky, maybe just 5,000 US dollar just to have a copy written by itself, right? And these people who do all of this are brilliant copywriters and it takes them years to achieve that level of expertise, which means that if you want to sell our own product, not only we need to create a good product, but then we need to learn copywriting. And that is insane if you want to achieve that in a short period of time. But does that mean that we don't need to learn copywriting? No, we must learn copywriting. We should, we should practice that, right? But if you want to make money right now, like fast, right? There's no way you can be a ninja copywriter immediately. And that's why we hire copywriters for that matter, right? Uh, and third thing is that you won't make money with a single product. And I'm referring to running paid ads, which means that you will need more time to learn how to create your own funnel and creating the upsell product. If creating one product is already taking a lot of time, imagine creating two products, three products and so on, because that's what funnel does. You have multiple products to offer, right? So as you can see, if we do not focus on, let's go and make money first, and we want to focus on selling my product, you know, because I want people to know how awesome I am, right? This whole thing won't work. This whole thing will work if we can let go of that and say, you know what? I will just promote someone else's product for the time being right now simply because I want to build my mailing list first. Because I know if I have my mailing list, eventually when I create my own product, they will be my loyal followers. Okay, so this is a warning so that you will not fall into this area and then got stuck, right? So this is why we choose with an affiliate funnel. So let's dive in this exciting model. So let's talk about the instant monetization affiliate funnel. I want to show to you a real life example, how I will find for affiliate offer. And then I will even show you how to make it live, right? So this is how it works. And just so you know, you will get all the slides as per normal. So you don't really need to like, copy right down my slides, you'll get this. Uh, I just want you to understand how it works. When we want to apply the instant monetization affiliate funnel, we will promote at the thank you page. 
The thank you page is the page that they see after they have entered their email address. Registration page, they call it opt-in page. They come over your opt-in page, they enter their email, they click subscribe, register, give me the free book or whatever it is, then they will go to the thank you page. This is where you promote the affiliate funnel. And I want to teach you a date, simple way of how to do the promotion. Even the greenest newbie can do this and make money if they just follow what I'm going to teach right now. The tactic to do this, right? So the first thing is this, keep your thank you page as minimalist and as decluttered as possible with no other images. I want to say this again, right? The least design you have on your page, the better it is. Forget about how awesome our face looks like. Forget about how nice your video is going to look like. Forget about how nice the e-cover that you design or whatever crazy banner or some stupid logo that we always like to put here. And then so forget about all of that. Just take away all of that and make it as minimalist as possible. And I'm going to teach you later on how to do this shortly. And then you understand the psychology of this to achieve the higher result, the highest result that, that we want to do with the affiliate funnel, all right? Then forget about copywriting. Don't come with your own words. Don't try to be fancy and things like that. Just use the affiliate offers copy. Now, I want you to understand that we are not promoting another newbie's product. We are promoting a guru's product. That's why it's a funnel, right? So they have already done all the work. They are probably smarter than what we can create as in like in terms of converting their own product. So what we're going to do is just as cheesy as it sounds, copy and paste, right? Don't get too fancy. And again, I'm going to show you how uh, you can do it. Next, have a big button for them to click. <laughs> like, like they cannot miss to see that button. Don't make it like small, click here, you know, like huge button, click here. You see, the whole premise here, when you're using this strategy, it is not trying to sell them the product. This is very important for you to understand. The premise here, it is just to quote unquote, sell the click. They come to your thank you page. You only have one goal to do it right. It's to send them to the affiliate offers funnel and let the affiliate program do its job. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to involve. We don't even need to give them our opinion. You get what I mean? Why? Because we are not the gurus in this situation. Let me just give you another, another example. Let's say you are a celebrity, right? Let's say. Let's say I'm an influencer. You know, let's say we are at that level, right? Let's say you are, let's say, let's talk about chef. Uh, who's a famous chef? Let's say, uh, what's that? Jamie Oliver, right? I think that's a very famous chef. Uh, Gordon Ramsay, right? So let's say this is Gordon Ramsay's webpage and Gordon Ramsay says, hey, you know, this is a good sauce, right? And of course, that sauce will sell because Gordon Ramsay is endorsing that sauce. But if it's not Gordon Ramsay, if we are not Gordon Ramsay, we're not going to say, hey, this is a good sauce. We just let them go and check out the sauce webpage and let the webpage do its job. Make sense? So again, this is so important. This is why I call it tactics, where a lot of newbies got it all wrong because they add in all the stuff. They say, oh, this is a great thing. You know, this will help you make money. This will help you become slim. This will help you to do all this kind of stuff. And what happened? It sounds like a big fat hype. You get what I mean? You're with me? Because if you are not a stranger to that person and you are saying all this cool stuff, right? That's a, what, what does it look like? It looks like you're trying to sell me some stuff. You see, and then there will be some skepticism being built. Now, of course, that can still work, but that's a very different strategy. But right now, I want to give you the simplest strategy to make it work for you. So now we understand how we should promote the affiliate funnel. The next thing we want to figure out is how to find the affiliate product to promote. Now, this is another, I wouldn't say advanced, uh, but this is a tactic that 
usually only advanced marketers use that we add a zip pop-up to maximize the traffic. And I'll show you how we do that later on. So very easy, simple to grab. And later on, I will show you visually so that it's even easier to grasp the concept. Now, how to pick an instant monetization affiliate offer in ClickBank? I choose ClickBank for several reasons. One, it is perfect for newbies or getting started because you don't need to dabble around trying to search here and there and not too sure whether they're going to pay you and all this kind of stuff, right? Secondly, ClickBank have stats that you can review and that helps you to decide whether this is a good product or not. I'm going to go through the key points here and then I'm going to go to ClickBank to show you how to find that, right? Because it's hard for me to change screen as this is a live class. So I'm going to do the presentation first and then screen sharing. So when you're choosing a product to promote, you should choose the same niche as yours or desired outcome. Now, what do I mean? So for demonstration purpose, it's easier for me to just give you a real life example or in another word, a real life demonstration. So let's take internet marketing niche. So let's say if I'm going to promote an affiliate offer, I should promote an internet marketing product, which means it's going to be the same niche as mine, right? Now, if I don't do that, I can promote another product that have the same desired outcome. So why would people want to do internet marketing? Because they want to use the internet to make money. If you really think about it, it's the whole purpose why people do internet marketing. They want to use the internet to make money. So which means that if there is another product that can help them to achieve the same desired outcome, which is to use the internet and also to make money together, then that could be a product that I can choose to promote. The product must have good sales page. I'll share with you how do I define a good sales page later on. And the price should be below $47. That is some kind of a sweet spot there. As in like anything below $47, people don't judge too much. Uh, I mean, they see they can just buy right away for that matter. I mean, if the sales copy is convincing, uh, it has a good product and so on, anything below $47, it is okay. But I will not choose product that is like $10 or $9 because then I will not make enough to subsidize my ad costs, all right? So sweet spot will be $47. If you could not find that, a $37 product would still be fine. A $27 product would still be fine, but not too little. And the next thing is this, the entire funnel, right? It must has the capability for you to earn over $100. So do you start to understand that the flow here, it is not about the front-end product, but it's about the funnel that will make money for you. You want to promote a product that has a good funnel so that every single traffic you send to the affiliate offer, right, has a higher possibility of generating more income for you. Let me just put it this way. Let's say it costs you a dollar for a click, right? You're going to send this $1 click to somewhere that has a possibility to earn you more than less. So if there's no funnel, let's say the price is $47, and let's say they pay 50% commission, and you send that $1 click over there, assuming it's 100% conversion, like one person goes there and they buy right away, okay? But it doesn't exist. But let's say if that exists, the maximum amount of money you can make is 50% of the $47, and that's it. Unless it has a funnel, the $1 click that you sent over can now be worth more than $23.50. So you must always promote an affiliate offer that have uh, a funnel when you're applying to the instant monetization affiliate funnel strategy right now. Next, ClickBank has this grading system called Gravity. I'll show you shortly. You should look for a product that must have at least over 30 Gravity points. Sorry, I should not use the word must have. Preferably, it should be over 30. This is for a guideline so that you sort of know, hey, you know, is this product okay or not? All right. And the next two, a bit more advanced, uh, check the gravity graph. You got to use a third party website to do this. 
And the last one is check the date of listing. This is more advanced. And I'm going to show you how to find the product right now. And then after that, I want to show to you how to set up a thank you page demo so that now you have a full picture how to do this, okay? Okay, so I'm in ClipBank right now. And this is the ClipBank Marketplace. And if you log in and then you go to Marketplace, right, you will see the same thing here right now. And we're going to do internet marketing niche because I'm in the internet marketing niche. So just a word of caution here, I'm only going to demonstrate to you how to earn the most money. I'm not here to show to you, hey, is this product good or bad and so on. That is based on your own uh, review research and so forth. Just to make it clear, when I pick a product here, I'm not endorsing any product. I'm just showing you, hey, this can make money. All right. So I don't want you to come back to me. Hey, Patrick, why are you promoting this product? I'm not, right? I'm just telling you, if you promote this product, you will make money. <laughs> very different, although it sounds the same, right? But very different, okay? All right. So now we will go to the uh, e-business and marketing niche. I'll go ahead and click here. So remember the formula I shared with you earlier? Right, you're looking for a product that's less than $47. You're looking for a product in the same niche market or a desired outcome. Uh, you're looking for a product with good sales page and also have funnel. So right now, I'll come over here and then I'm going to select this to gravity. Okay, I want to see based on gravity ranking. And this product is, holy cow, is number one, right? And this product had 237 gravity, which is like insane. We're looking at something that's above 30 and this is 237, which means this product sells like crazy, okay? Now, in terms of whether this product sells or not, it has already been validated. But would this help you to make money or not? This is where we need to dive in to have further research, all right? Okay, so the first thing is that when you go to a ClickBank listing, if it's done by a top ClickBank marketer, as in like a successful product creator who probably make millions, they would always have an affiliate page where they will promote their affiliate program. So let's go ahead and check this out. So remember, we're looking for a product that sells for about less than $47. So this is a sales copy that basically promote the affiliate program. So timeout, do you see the difference of a beginner, a normal marketer and an advanced marketer? An advanced marketer take the time to write a sales page just to promote their affiliate program, not even to promote the product. It's so there's like many levels of expertise in this game. So let's see this here right now. It pays a 75% commission, which is a lot, but the key thing here, this, let's just look at how crazy is the upsells. You see that? This is their funnel, right? So which means that for me, if I want to make money, I want to promote a product like this. Because now when I send traffic here, this person who buys will see an upsell of $97. And if they buy that, I make 75%. And if they buy that, then they will have another upsell for $57, and I make another 75%. And if they buy that, there will be another $37 upsell. And I will also make 75% out of that. And if they don't want to buy, they will see a downsell of $57, $37, $37. And if they buy any of the downsell, which they decline, I will make 75%. And if they don't buy again, do you see where I'm coming from, right? Which means that if I want to make money, this is the ideal product that I want to promote. This is the concept of leveraging on other people's funnel than trying to create our own funnel to make money, right? So let's go ahead and check this out and see the rest of the details here. So um, you make about $23 on average per sale and this is the gravity. So the next thing I want to share with you here is the sales copy. So let's go ahead and open this web page here. And let's see how that web page looks like, right? So this web page, it's a registration page, but this registration page will be able to help me make money if this is a smart marketer. Now, 
if this is a newbie web page, I wouldn't want to promote. Why? Because I will just be giving them my leads and I won't be making money. But if this person knows how to make money, how to sell its own product, right? I don't mind sending leads to them because this is a, this is a lead capture page because they know how to convert my leads into money for me. So let's say if it costs me, say, $10 to get my lead, but if I can pass my lead to them and they can convert this lead to buy their product, I'm going to get paid 75% commission. So that's going to help me to pay for my ad cost in the beginning, right? And this is a type of web page that in terms of sales copy, it is good because it doesn't promote anything else except for one purpose. This one purpose is just to get them to take a quiz. And based on my humble experience in marketing for the, over the years, someone who used a quiz strategy is an advanced marketer who knows what they are doing. This is called a quiz funnel. This is a very powerful strategy that is deployed by marketers where when you select all these quiz, then it will show to you a sales copy that basically match what you have answered. So the conversion goes through the rooftop in that sense, right? So sales copy pass, okay, great. So now let's do more research, whether this is a good product or not. So check out this website, it's called cbengine.com, right? cbengine.com. So we can take their ClickBank ID. Let's go ahead and find its ClickBank ID here. Clipbank ID, Clipbank ID, Clipbank ID. Where is his Clipbank ID? Okay, the Clipbank ID is social paid. I'm going to copy this right now. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste the ID here and just click enter. Oh my gosh, everything comes out right now. All the history of this product. All right. So now I'll come over here and then you can see how much is the gravity, how much is the commission. These are all the details that you will see publicly here in Clipbank. But what I'm looking for are more detailed research. Even with the paid version of CB Engine, I can do some good research here. So I will go here and I click on payout and I'm doing some research further. Now, just so you know, uh, this is not my website. So the information may not be 100% accurate. Sometimes it's just a software, but you can use this as a very good guide, uh, as a very good benchmark for you to do your research. So when we click here, it shows to me, this uh, what you, you don't need to see the beginning because this is when the product just launched, you know, that's usually just like that. And then you see all the momentum goes here. This product is way back in 2012. So it's gone through many rounds of improvement. If I'm not mistaken, this is the website that sells paid service opportunity in the past. So now it comes up with another piece of opportunity called social ads job or social media jobs or something like that. Now, numbers don't lie, right? Like stats are stats. You cannot manipulate stats. And that's why I like to use ClickBank because you can see the stats that the data is there. They cannot, I mean, this person cannot make up stories and say, hey, you know, we have paid so much, so much and so on because it's all real numbers. It's all data. So I can see here, in this case, if this is accurate, I can see, okay, let's move to 2022. Usually, someone who promotes the product, including all the upsells and so on, on average, they are making about 20 over dollars. So this kind of let me know how much I can make per sale. And the highest, I reach about like $35 and so on. And here it shows average percent per sale. So you can see that all the time, this vendor has been paying out 75% commission, but sometimes he pays more. All right. He pays even up to 81%. And you can see based on these stats here, let's see in year 2022, most of the sales comes from referral, which means comes from affiliates, which also tells me that uh, affiliates are doing well because 70% of the sales comes from affiliates, which means that this product rely heavily 
on its affiliates, which means that it probably have all the tools and so on the affiliates needed in order for them to convert well, right? And here is the gravity. It shows the gravity increasing, which means that um, this product has been doing really well lately and it goes really high and then it sort of drops. It could be because after the product has launched and then it drops. This is just all assumption, but the graph sort of give me an, an idea about how successful the product is. And this product has been started since 2012, which means that I know that, hey, they probably know what they're doing because they're in business for the past 10 years. All right. And when you see this, it also tells you that when they are in business, it is not like a straight line where they don't really know how to do things. You can see that, okay, they sort of got started. And then when it starts to active, when it starts to active, which is 2013, and since then, it never goes down. Right, so this is this is a marketer who knows what they're doing well. Okay, very straightforward. Now, um, once you have done this research, you can also use another website for looking for product. This is called cbgraph.com, and the purpose of using cbgraph.com is just to click on ClickBank Marketplace. I mean, it does almost the same functions as CB Engine. But this can help you to find product because there's this function called movers and shakers. So if you click on movers and shakers, it basically tells you they have already do their own research that these are the products that has been converting well recently. And of course, you got to find the category that fits you well. Otherwise, you will not find that. Okay, like in this case, this live chat jobs, it's one of the mover and shaker right now. If you click on it, then they will have more information what this is about, all right? So you can see that um, it started off at just about 40 plus graph and then it's going up right now, which means that this product, it is growing, right? Which means that, hey, uh, if it's not growing too much yet, maybe there's an opportunity for you to promote such product and it may convert well because the market may not be saturated yet. All right, but this is just an extra thing I'm sharing with you. If you don't use this, this is also fine. All right, so I've just shared with you how to find a, a low cost affiliate offer for the purpose of the affiliate funnel strategy. So how do we do the thank you page? As I shared with you, uh, we're just gonna do it like really, really simple, as minimally as possible, as this as decluttered as possible. So this is just how the web page should just look like at your thank you page. It's the easiest page that you can ever do. So this is like good news, right? Because you don't need any design skill. If you use our funnel builder software, you can just do this. You have put in this template for you and it's done, right? Let's look at the simplicity of how to make money online, all right? So the thank you page here, congratulations. Your request for whatever your free offer product is. Right, so let's say it's called uh, how to lose weight video training. That your request for how to lose weight video training is successful. Or if it's internet marketing product, let's say I say, congratulations, your request for the newbie series is successful. Please check your email for the product access instruction. And if you have any question, please feel free to email me at whatever your email address is. That's it. Don't put your face there. Don't put your logo there. Don't put any image there. Don't design a web page. Just do it this way because you only have one objective. Is what? The big fat button that they cannot miss to see. So this simplicity is actually a marketing strategy that need to be shown, right? Um, it's simple but it is very powerful. And again, that's where I, many people miss the whole thing because they thought, hey, making nice will be better because it looks cool and things like that, but it's not. Because if your objective is to make money, this is what does it. If you notice, there's no link for them to even access whatever that they have requested from the registration page. The opt-in page, free ebook, free video, we're not even giving it to them here at all. None, right? If they've mistaken that, but by clicking here, even better. 
So now, you just need to put a headline to promote the affiliate program. So should we think of how to do copywriting? No, we should just copy and paste, right? What do I mean by copy and paste? So we go back to the, the affiliate program that we want to promote. Let's say this is the one. If this is their headline, we are ready for this. We are literally going to copy and paste. Copy. And then I will go to my page here. And then magically, I'm just going to paste it here. All right. It's literally that simple to make money here right now. Don't think more than this. It's copy and paste. And I'll teach you the psychology behind that shortly, all right? First, this is the best headline that this fella who have made millions have decided to use. Why would you want to argue with him if he has made millions and he say that, hey, you know what? This is the best headline for my website and you want to come out with a better headline? Don't, just, just take the headline and put it here, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is that, right? This will lead to the sales page, the affiliate program page, right? Which means that it's going to be congruent exactly what they read here. They're just going to read it here and they're just going to continue. The train of thoughts is just going to continue from what they started and what they're happy with. Now, if they're not happy with this headline, they wouldn't be clicking the button. You with me? So if they're happy with that, you're going to continue with what makes them happy and continue from there, right? And let the affiliate program's funnel do its job, right? You cannot come here and then say, okay, let example, right? Sexy girl picture below. Click now, right? You, you cannot do that even though you will get people to click, right? But you cannot do that because it is not following the message is not the same. There's no point getting traffic that's not targeted. You got to give them the same message so that you have targeted traffic. So we're going to go ahead and put this back here. And then now this part here, call to action here, right? So if, if you don't really feel like coming up with fancy words and so on, then you just say, click here. Or have the word called learn more. But if you want to play a bit with some copywriting for that matter, then you say, start working from home now, right? What will be the benefits of what this offer is going to do, right? Assuming that is the one that we want to, to use, then okay, then all right, great. Then we just save, start working from home now, right? And then this button, we'll just link it, right? With external link and then the URL, We'll just go back here and this is going to be the affiliate link here. I'm not going to go through like how to use, how to create an affiliate link. Uh, you can go through some tutorials that we have, right? But for demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and come back here and then paste it and make sure I change your ClickBank ID to my ClickBank ID, all right? And make sure I open as a new tab and then I click select. And I'm done. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click save. And that's it. So I'm just going to edit this. I'm just going to edit this. I'm just going to change this, copy and paste. And then whatever my contact details, I'm just going to change this here. Okay. Now, this gray color background, you could change the color depending on the same color theme of your original landing page. So let's say your registration page, it's having black color background, right? Then this whole background will be black color. Make sense? Because you want to make sure when they go to the registration page and then they go to the thank you page, it is the same, right? So that is the only thing that you change. Now, after that, if you want to maximize, I mean, you already spend for your traffic, right? Why not you maximize and make the most out of it? Now you're going to add a pop-up to it. So I will come over here under the pages, now, if you use a different story, I'm sorry that you got to figure out yourself how to create a pop-up, uh, whatever builder that you use. But if you use our final builder, it's all built in. Just click on pop-up, create a pop-up. And then you're going to choose like a promo with nice design, right? 
information you can also use that it's up to you right depend on what kind of design you want but basically you're just creating a pop-up that have text and then uh, button not trying to get them to opt into anything right you can remove the 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 web form but just use the button so like for instance if i use this one if i want to use this one then i will need to add the button because this template doesn't have a button like this one here has a button so if i click here then i could have this pop up here and design accordingly and what should i have the headline well i can just come back here and copy stuff from here right if i want if i want to go like really ridiculous i can literally copy and paste the same headline again and you may be saying patrick what kind of funny thing is that i mean it's already shown here why would you put in a pop-up again this is the part that we will never understand when people are browsing the internet right the same thing they may not click here but they may click when they want to exit that's just how it works right the idea behind that i don't know right but you can literally use the same thing and just have different color and they don't click here but they click there <laughs> okay and when you just add a pop-up here you can add an exit pop-up which means that right now let's say if you just get additional 10 or 20 percent of people click you'll be able to recycle the same traffic so that you don't lose them completely right and after they click on this then they will go to the affiliate program page here not here they will go to here and then you will let the funnel up to take over from here onwards that's it that is that straightforward right and i'm just going to cover this the instant monetization for the affiliate funnel in today's training and then the next training i will go into the delayed monetization right but frankly uh, by just adding this alone, you'll probably be able to get some extra sales from your paid ads. And I think I can just share one extra tip with you. So here's another point, right? So the bonus tip is if, if you're using this tactic, this is a bit more advanced, right? That you can try this later on if you have already created the add-on product that we've gone through in the past. Okay, so the bonus tip here is basically add bonuses for them to buy. So here's how it works. This requires a bit more advanced in that sense. When they come to the thank you page, right, you will have the button for them to click. And remember in the previous classes where we talk about creating the add-on products as your upsell. So if you have created all of that, right, instead of you trying to sell that and come up with your pitch and things like that, right, you're just going to say, hey, if you buy this product, you will get all of this for free. And that automatically increase your sales conversions. So this is a strategy that we usually use uh, in order to win affiliate contests. So we'll say this, okay, if you buy this product like within the next 24 hours and so on, you will get these additional bonuses from me. Now, I want you to think about this from a strategic standpoint, right? These add-on products that we have created, we're not selling it anyway, right? I mean, if we're using this model. So why not we use them as bonuses and give it away for free to increase our athlete sales? That will actually make you more money than keeping your own bonuses. So let's say, I do internet marketing niche. Let's say just now that product that we want to promote the social media jobs, let's say it sells for $47. And my thank you page, I could say this, hey, you know, I have a course on how to do social media marketing, right? Now, if you get the affiliate program, this entire course, which is worth $97, is yours for free. So now they see, buy $27 product, get $97 product for free. Pretty good deal, right? Now you create urgency. A good offer will only be good if there is a deadline. If there's no deadline, you cannot get people to buy. So 
if you see the things that I launch, I have a deadline that says, if, if you miss the deadline, it is, it, it's gone. It's really gone. Like for instance, we have our done for you package, right? And if you didn't buy it, that's okay. But if it's gone, it's gone. Then we're not offering it. You have to wait. We'll open it again in the future, right? But for the time being, it is, it is gone, right? So you cannot get started with it. Um, like our funnel builder software. I tell you that the price will increase. If, if you don't buy it, that's okay. But just so you know, the price will increase. And it did increase. Um, some of you have got it the first day that it comes out, right? That's where you get the best deal, right? So what I'm trying to say here to teach you is that if you want to create a good offer, even for affiliate sales, you can add in what we call limited bonuses that tell them, hey, you know, if you don't get it right now, it's going to disappear, right? And I believe that you can add a countdown timer with our funnel builder and you can add it there, like maybe a 24 hours countdown timer. Teach you if, you if you don't get it within the next 24 hours, then these bonuses, then you no longer get it, all right? Anyway, this is just an extra thing. It's a, it's a bonus of a bonus tip, adding bonuses for them to buy. So I just use the word bonuses three times, okay? So if you don't use this, it is totally okay. All right. So that's sort of wrap up for today's part one. All right, but it is completed on its own and you can deploy what you have learned on its own right now. All right, with that said, we'll talk again in my next session where we're going to go for part two. Okay, bye everybody. Take care, everyone. See you all.